Mm. Morning, morning, Sunday, 18th of January, Stafford. Then Jesus said to his disciples, If anyone would come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever wants to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for me will find it. What good will it be for a man if he gains the whole world yet forfeits his soul? Or what can a man give in exchange for his soul? For the Son of Man is going to come in his Father's glory with his angels and then he will reward each person according to what he has done. I tell you the truth, some who are standing here will not taste death before they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. Amen. <clears throat> well, It's powerful stuff. I find the more I focus on you, my Lord, on your word, the more clearly I see it. Just one passage. I gather in Christ's time there were other prophets, it was quite an age of prophecy and stuff. So I suppose to some extent, beware of false prophets, they had to be discerning, you know, here's another person, etc. But, again I read a passage just recently, now, this morning, um, particularly Capernaum was woe to you, you uh, heathen cities or whatever. That isn't quite the right word. Unrepentant cities, I think, is a word they use here in the New International. Um, so instead of repenting, many cities in Christ's time just went on with their wicked ways. I was delighted to find when I was in the Holy Land, this is Capernaum, I understand Christ spent a lot of his time, his, uh, can't think of the word now, his, uh, when he was preaching, for three years we understand, <coughs> also of his, his time. Capernaum, it's the north end of the Sea of Galilee, and it's nothing now. But basically they didn't recognize him. He performed miracles there, signs and wonders and so on and so forth. Some people saw him, but the ones particularly who should have known, the Sadducees and the Pharisees, the learned ones, the ones who should have known, but didn't see him, that's the problem. That's the one sin you may not commit. Anyway, that's a bit of a digression where that came from. Take up your cross and follow me. Well, so I do. Deny yourself and you will find yourself through you, my Lord. These are your teachings. This is your teaching. I love you, my Lord, with all my heart and all my soul and all my mind and all my strength. 